Hey everybody, in this video series I want to introduce you to a programming video game called Screeps. So Screeps is a really fun game. Uh, I used to play it a bunch a couple years ago, um, but still around, it's still probably the best programming video game out there. Um, so I just want to introduce it to you and I'm going to do the uh, tutorial and uh, walk through it with you. Uh, so just in case you're new to programming or if you're having trouble getting through the tutorial, uh, hopefully this video will help you out. Uh, so Screeps, um, it is a programming video game, but it's not designed to teach you to learn how to code. Uh, but still, I think it can be a great way for beginners to, you know, practice their programming skills, you know, once you manage to get into it a little bit. Um, so I guess I should start by telling you what Screeps is as a, as a game. So I describe it as a real-time strategy game that's also an MMO. Uh, so it's like a real-time strategy game like Age of Empires or StarCraft or if you ever played the Command & Conquer games. Um, it's like those in that you create buildings and then from those buildings will spawn units, um, either worker units that will collect resources for you or uh, like military units that will defend your base or attack other players. But it's also like an MMO because Everyone who's playing the game is on the same server. Um, it's all in one big world. And uh, the game's persistent, so it's going on 24 7 uh, around the clock. Um, I guess the best way to describe it to you is just to uh, show you what it looks like. Uh, so here's the world map. You can see all these different players uh, sp spread around. Uh, so these larger icons are the player owned bases and these smaller ones are rooms that they're reserving. So let's take a look at one of these. Uh, so you can see inside this room, uh, this player is gathering this resource called energy. Uh, there's energy sources in these two locations here. Um, he's got these units here that are, are mining energy from those sources, uh, and that allows him to create more units, create more buildings, and things like that. Uh, but essentially, you collect these resources, um, you use them to create buildings, create more units, and uh, defend yourself. Let's take a look at one other person, just for another example. All right, so here's a player who's not quite as far along yet. He's just getting started building his base. Um, but you can see that he's laid out construction sites uh, to make more buildings. And uh, his creeps here, that's what the units are called, it creeps. Uh, they're going about their business, gathering energy, and uh, bringing it back to their, their spawn. Uh, so what makes this game different uh, from any other video game you've probably ever played is you don't actually play this game directly. You know, you're not selecting your characters and telling them what to do. Um, instead, what you're really doing is you're writing artificial intelligence uh, in JavaScript in real code. Um, and then your AI is what instructs your, your units what to do and uh, plays the game for you. So that's how even when you sign off for the day and you're done playing, your base is still running and it's still running off of the code that you wrote earlier in the day. So to get started here is real easy. Um, you just need to go to the Scripps website. You don't need to install anything or download anything. You can just go directly here to the Scripps website and then play the tutorial without even registering an account. Uh, so go down here, click on uh, the live demo. Um, and here are the things you can do for free without even having an account. Uh, we're going to be doing the tutorial together. Uh, so you can see it's broken down into five steps, and in the following videos, I'll I'll do each one of these five steps and uh, kind of help you through it if you get stuck, or maybe explain some tips and tricks that you might have missed out on. I also want to show you before the end of this video the documentation. Uh, so you use this menu over here, go down to documentation, uh, and in here there's a lot of great articles on how to play the game, what everything is. Um, there's also an API reference, which is really key. Uh, once you get into actually writing code, you're going to want to come over to this reference um, so you know exactly what 
every object in the game does and how it works. So yeah, uh, that's all for this video, and in the next one, we'll start on tutorial step one.